Welcome to Orange Tea Market Pulse. I'm Christine Sun from the Research and Analytics Department at Orange Tea and Thai. This video aims to share some property insights and the latest market developments that may be of interest to you. Today, I'll be sharing the performance of the HDB resale market for the fourth quarter of 2020. Last year, the HDB resale market performance was extraordinary as demand and prices rose strongly despite the pandemic and global economic fallout. According to the HDB public housing data, prices of resale flats rose a third consecutive quarter to 3.1% last quarter. For the whole of 2020, prices rose 5%, the steepest annual increase since 2012. Prices rose across most flat types last year. According to the HDB public housing data, resale volume in the fourth quarter of last year dipped by 1.9% to 7,642 units. However, for the whole of last year, sales of resale flats rose to its highest level in eight years. More than 24,000 resale units were transacted in 2020. The rapid increase in prices and strong demand was quite unexpected. The resilience of the HDB market could be attributed to stimulus measures launched by the government to support the economy and prevent massive unemployment. Most workers were able to keep their earnings with the help of various job support schemes. Moreover, we are reaping a harvest of market stability now due to strict measures like the MSR. On hindsight, these measures have shown good seeds of financial prudence which have prevented most buyers from over-leveraging. Despite the price hikes, the HDB market may still not be at risk of a housing bubble now. Prices of HDB resale flats are still 7.6% below the peak in Q2 2013. Speculative activities are rare and many buyers were not over-leveraging in their property purchases. The pandemic had a more adverse impact on the rental market. The number of approved applications to rent out HDB flats dipped 19.5% last year although the number rose slightly by 3.4% last quarter. Rents rose by 1.2% last year, but at a slower pace than the preceding year. Rents have also increased across most room types last quarter. Even that the accommodation budgets of some foreign aspects have been reduced, some may continue to downgrade from private homes to flat renters. The number of overseas students entering Singapore have also grown over the past few months topping up rental demand for flats that are located near international schools. Therefore, rents and rental demand may improve slightly this year. Prices and demand for resale flats are expected to rise further as the global economic outlook is likely to be more favourable this year. With mass vaccination being rolled out globally, the worst of the pandemic could be over by end of this year. The number of flats reaching MOP is expected to rise by 5.7%, which may lead to more transactions. We are optimistic that the HDB resale volume may increase further by up to 5% and prices may continue to rise between 2 and 5% in 2021. I hope this video has been useful to you. Please tune in to our other video series and visit our social media. And remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again. I'm Christine Sun. See you in our next episode. Till then, take care and God bless.